Hello guys, so since I've been streaming the last couple of days, but uh, uh, I'm having some internet issues, I decided to make a video that could be interesting for a lot of people that uh, try to improve in Warfund or any game, and uh, because a lot of people ask me, or have been asking me, how do you get good? And saying, I'm trying, I'm playing a lot, but I just don't improve my game. I'm kind of try to under explain to you what are the most important factors into getting better at any game or also Warfunder. Now, first of all, this is just a background gameplay. I'm gonna be 19, so uh, don't pay too much attention to that. Anyways, so the first thing you need to understand into getting good in any video game is um, you gotta be consistent. Now, I say that right from the bat because consistency gives you confidence and confidence makes you a better player. Now your goal is of course being consistently good and not consistently bad. And in order to, to reach that you have to follow certain rules. Now first of all, if you want to improve into something, you gotta put time into that, right? If you want to get good at Warfana and you're a new player and you're a player, you have to play a lot. You get good to a certain point, but after that you will be just stagnant. In order to get on a really, really high individual level, and I'm not talking about team play here, I'm talking about your individual gameplay skill, you have to understand that you gotta put time in, into a ver variety of different vehicles. That might be, if you wanna get better in planes, you gotta of course play a lot of planes. If you wanna get better in tanks, you have to play tanks. What a, mo a lot of people, the mistake a lot of people do though, is they don't switch up their planes, they don't switch up their tanks, they just could Pick a plane that they're comfortable with. They stick with it, which is fine, but it only gets you to a certain level, and after that you will not improve yourself anymore, because in order to get better and cons more consistent, you have to challenge yourself constantly. Challenging means, for example, if I fly BF-109 all day long, I will get to a certain level, but after that I can't improve anymore. So you need to fly planes, tanks, that are not as popular, not as widely used, and every plane and every tank in this game has an advantage. Should it be climb rate, fire rate, guns, uh, turn rate, uh, stall speed, whatever. Finding out that advantage, playing to it, will improve you in that point. For example, if I play a, a, a zero, obviously I'm slower. I want to learn to dogfight, I want to learn how to outplay my opponent in, in, um, in close range. If I have a 109, I can energy fight, I can dogfight, I can turn fight, I can basically do anything. But for me, the best thing how I learned to how I learned to improve my gameplay was learning to play passive in the beginning. Passive meaning not as passive, so you don't risk anything, but playing to my passive, just learning the game, understanding what can I do, what can I not do. For example, when I was new at the game. I was back in 2013, uh, beginning of 2014. I used to be a um, below average player, so I used to die a lot. And at one point, I was thinking to myself, how to improve my game? How am I able to outplay my opponents, right? And uh, so I came to my mind, uh, I watched a couple of replays of mine, and I just saw, hmm, I am ineffective. I fly bad. I do stupid mistakes. And I realized what those mistakes were, and I tried to improve in that area. Now, first of all, I was really bad in defensive flying, I was really bad in aiming, I was generally a bad player. That changed really quickly though, because I really sat down and put a lot of time into that. I put a lot of time into that, how can I outplay my opponent? How can I make sure I have more energy than him? Learning the game, and the only way you learn is to get punished. You, get, you do the same mistake, you get punished. But instead of doing the same mistake, again, try to learn from your mistakes. Don't let your emotions get too close to you. I still have the problems sometimes. But in order to get a really good player in this game, you have to control your emotions. You get angry, you get mad. I do it still to, the, to this day, but mostly because bad internet, bad hit, hit, hit registration or bad FPS. That is slowing me down in my consistency, and when I'm inconsistent, I play bad. Because I know I have good consistency, but sometimes the internet fucks up. Alright, yeah. Consistency gone, confidence could be gone too. Confidence is another good thing. Now, for example, a lot of people, they play too passive. Now, if you play too passive, you are not learning how to play. You are not putting yourself out of the comfort zone. And um, 
you should always show your enemy respect, but not too much. You can see that when I play, I really don't care what enemy is coming with a plane. If I have to, I will try to dogfight him in a P-47, but that's because I know I can beat these guys. I know what can my P-47 do, what a G-2 can. I know exactly from all these hours I put into different vehicles, what can I do with a certain vehicle. If you only play 109, I will eat you alive with a Spitfire, even though you think you outturn 99% of the other Spitfire players. If I'm on a Spitfire, chances are I probably will outturn you, even though you think you're good to in the 109. You, you know your advantages, I know my advantages and your advantages in and out. Because I've put so many hours into this game, I know exactly what I have to do. Another thing is aiming. Now aiming, I'm a little bit talented in this regard. I'm not the best aimer. There are better aimers in this game than me, but from playing a lot of Counter-Strike and generally uh, being always above average since I play games in aiming, that is really uh, a point that I don't have to worry too much. Of course, sometimes I with easy shots, but most of the times the shots that are shot, if they don't spark, they will kill enemies or they will land or hit. If it's a mediocre or easy shot, they will probably hit all the times. Another thing that you have to keep in mind is switching up your game. You know, um, part of switching up your game is, as I said again, get out of your comfort zone. Play vehicles that you would not normally play. And play situations differently sometimes. Especially against certain players. Keep always in mind there are always players that um, do something that you might not expect. But in my head, if I engage an enemy, in my head I always calculate every possible outcome. So I put myself into the situation where I can count anything. For example, in a plane, if he's going up or down or turn or forces a head on. In my head, I always have this all calculated. So I put myself in a position where I have the least risk to do a mistake and the least risk to die. This comes from playing the game a lot and also understanding your vehicles. And of course, most important thing is time. If you spend your time wisely, not brain dead, you will get better in the game. If you never think about your mistakes and just play the game it doesn't matter how much you play you will never get on a level for example like me in terms of consistency in terms of gameplay in terms of what is going on with the battlefield also situational awareness really really important a lot of people just don't have the situational awareness they just don't watch what is going on around them and that's always something that's so easy to to understand is just use watch your surroundings because for example, here, my surroundings is, I have altitude, so I can just do loopings whenever I want, and I will just engage those people, and I don't have to worry about turning away. There are three, four people, but some of you might turn away. I'm not even scared, because I know I have a bit, I have a way faster plane, I got good hands, guns for head-on, and like I just can't wait these people easily. It's like understanding how to play. You know, it's, it's like, uh, it's no rocket science, but this game is easy to play, but really hard to master. And to this point, I not even have, not even reach, not even close to master this game. There's still a lot of things that I'm not as good as I wanted to be. And, I, and last time in my stream, somebody asked me, well, Legend, you don't have to, you don't have to train any, any, anymore. You're already so good at the game. I'm like, I'm never satisfied by how good I play. I always want to improve. And that drive and that passion makes me a better player constantly makes me a more successful player and allows me to have more fun even though it sometimes it doesn't sound like it more fun than the average player because i'm having fun after six years still in this game i complain yes but at the end of the day i just love playing this game i'll play my opponents and you know uh you can see the amount of vehicles that i, I actively play when we look at my stack card I have so many kids with a lot of vehicles. You know, maybe not thousands of kids, but I just play them, especially planes, not so much for tanks because I'm still grinding a lot. But as you can see, I play the vehicles that you don't see on the battlefield a lot. I play those planes, you know, P 48 L and shit like that, where other people do bad. I tend to do good in because I just, when I play a difficult plane that for other people won't play, I see. I try to search for the advantage and for example I have found an advantage every single plane even in the PO2 and this is what allows you to be a better player consistently consistency learning from your mistakes and try to mix up your game is the most important thing how to get a successful player and also of course time more time 
the more time you have the more experience you have the more experience you have the better you tend to do but you need you you, you need to understand that if you don't learn from your mistakes they will happen again and you will do the same mistake again and again and again so as a tip for everybody else um is uh, it doesn't matter if it's tanks planes and a lot of the things that i said you can also uh, put in for other games such as counter-strike uh, is everybody can get to a certain level of course there's a little bit of talent involved i'm not saying that everybody can be as good as another player i think also i have a little bit of luck that i'm a little bit talented for this game at least but everybody can get good to a certain degree and you would be surprised if you really would would um putting some time into this game properly and learning from your mistakes how good you could be in this game and believe me the better you are the more fun it is so i hope you enjoyed the video um if you have any questions if you have any uh suggestions please put it down in the comments below my name is of course legend as many of you know and yeah i'm out